We're going to do a quick video walkthrough of setting up the uh, Fee Simple Category Index. We'll be using this as a demo site. Um, so you have a pretty standard theme homepage here with uh, the home top, the home middle, and the home bottom down below. What we want to do is add some categories um, visually to display on the homepage. Uh, so to do that, we're going to head to the Feast plugin. We're going to find the um, category featured images and enable that. That's not a standard WordPress feature, that's something that comes in the plugin. So we'll go ahead and save that. Once that's enabled, we'll head over to the categories. And what we want to do right now is set up uh, some better categories than what we currently have. So we have a recipes category here with 193 posts, and that's just far too many for a single category. It's not useful for visitors to have you know, hundreds of posts within a category. So what we want to do is break the categories out into more granular details. Um, so what we've decided on beforehand is uh, we'll have a beef, a uh, chicken, a seafood, and a pork category. So we're going to go ahead and set those up. Um, the name we want to keep pretty simple, but for the slug, um, I'd recommend using recipes in the slug here. So we'll set up beef, we'll set up chicken, pork, and uh, seafood recipes. Um, so we've got the recipes, the new recipe categories um, created that we're going to be using. The next thing we need is for a featured image in each of these. I'm going to go ahead and open up the edit page for these in advance and head over to media, add new. I set up some brand new images for this. They're square images. They're specific for the categories. They're not just being used. So we have pork, beef, chicken, and seafood. We'll go ahead and upload those. So the file names here, you notice that we were matching the category name um, for SEO. That's a good thing to have. You don't want it to be randomly named. Um, you do want it to match up with the categories. So as it's being uploaded, we'll head to library. We'll find the beef recipes. And the file URL right here is what we need. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we'll head over to the category pages we open. So we have seafood here, pork, chicken, and beef. The category image field is what we just added in the plugin. Beef recipes. Head down and save that. Um, we've consistently named these so I know what these are offhand. We have chicken recipes for the chicken category. We have pork recipes for the pork category. And we have seafood recipes for the seafood category. So now we've got the images uploaded. We've added them to the categories. Um, on top of having the image in the category, we also need some actual um, recipes within the category. So we'll head over to the posts page and we're going to take a look at some uh, chicken recipes first. So we'll do a search. Crockpot white chicken enchilada casserole. Yep, that fits into the chicken category. So we'll assign it to the chicken category. Um, you want to fill up the categories between 4 and 20 recipes per category. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to add the one so that it displays. Next, we'll have beef recipes. So we have a beef and rice casserole recipe. Go ahead and add that to the beef. Next up, we have seafood. So the shrimp boil recipe belongs in the seafood. And our last recipe category was pork. Boneless pork loin in Dutch oven. Yep, that fits. Pork. Go ahead and save that. So now we've filled all the requirements for it. We have the category set up. We have um, the category images set in the Feast plugin. We have at least one recipe in each of these. Um, and we have the image added to it. So at this point, we're going to um, 
go to the home middle widget area and add a custom HTML widget with the short code. So appearances widget. We have the home page middle. We're going to drag a custom HTML into home page middle. So it's the least simple category index. And we'll go ahead and save that and see how it displays on the home page. So we have those set up. The seafood image isn't displaying properly. We'll go look, look into that afterwards. Um, so you see these are all the unique images. We have a link down here. It's basically an image and a link. Now, I want to change the styling up a little bit on this. So what I'm going to do is grab the image class that equals feast image pivot and head over here. Image class equals feast image pivot. Go ahead and save that. And that should apply the image class to the image. Let's see if we have the feast image round on this. These should all be live by the time that the uh, update comes out. Okay, so the feast image round is in there. Um, the seafood category is still missing, so we're going to go take a look at the seafood category. Posts, categories, seafood. We do have seafood. Edit that. And we do have an image assigned to that. So next we have to find out if the image, um, maybe the URL is wrong because I was copying and pasting. So library, seafood recipes. And it got uploaded with a one on the end. So we'll go ahead and copy that. Head over to categories again. Seafood, edit, and paste in the correct URL for that. Enter for save, head back here and refresh. So now I have the seafood category set up along with everything else. Um, when you have the text in the image, you don't necessarily need the link down here. So we'll go and find the code to remove that. Um, we have the parameter here, show title equals no. So we'll go back to the widgets. Homepage middle, custom HTML, show title equals no. Save that. So there we go. We've set up um, some category images. We've got them linking out to the categories we created. Um, we removed the title on here. By default, those will display. And by default, it'll display the images that you upload. Um, we do recommend using round images. Um, over a 1,000 pixels would be good for future proofing. But in this case, I think they're about 700 pixels. Um, they're being scaled down, and the thumbnails are being generated. So it's not an issue for page speed. Um, but if we click on the category, it'll take us to the category here with everything that we assigned to that category. Um, you do want to do a little bit more work on updating the title as well as updating the actual description on the page to make it more useful to the visitors and to make sure that Google understands what this page is about. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment uh, on the page.